rise to she used to live up on the 12th floor and uh you know we'd go visit her like whenever and uh me and my brother went to like this magazine store that's just like around the corner from where she used to live. so like we went downstairs and like took the elevator down went through like the the front lobby and then there's like this this area like this there's like double doors and then there's like all the buzzers for the apartment so we walked through there and then like instantly when i opened the door it was just like this overwhelming smell of shit like it just completely like wafted right in my face and i thought it was my brother so i turned around and i was like oh what the hell that's that's unhealthy why is it, why does that stink so bad and then he looked down on the ground and I'm, and then he was like oh and i looked down and there was literally like the biggest turd like i've ever seen in my whole life like it was like a snake like a coiled snake and there was like blood in it and um because in the winter like where i grew up it got really cold so like homeless people would like sort of like hide out in these like building lobbies like where the buzzers are just to warm up until they got kicked out so i guess one just decided that like he was gonna like take advantage of the warmth and just like have a crap in there too uh, it, was, it was unbelievable good god oh, was that like right next yeah. to your grandma like where well she was living well no she was yeah but like when we got back we told her about it she was just like oh no and I, she had to, like, phone the landlord and say, uh, yeah, somebody's, like, t taking, like, gigantic shit in the lobby. Can you, like, go clean it up? We were, like, <laughs> scarred for life. Like, I've never seen anything like it. My, speaking of old ladies and shit, um, my brother and a friend of mine were, like, in, in the town at some point, uh, downtown in Sweden, and they were in, like, a, a McDonald's or something, or whatever, and there was... Uh, like just looking out through like the windows, or like the 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 glass door or whatever, so that you can see out to the street. And there was this homeless woman just sitting there for the longest time. And then just randomly at one point, where they were like in the middle of their hamburgers, she just stands up, pulls down her pants, presses up to the glass window, and unleashes the biggest shit they have ever seen. Like just <laughs> right on the window, and that just slid down. They slid down the entire. <laughs> I am preparing to unleash my shit. What? What yeah. the old lady did? Yeah. Why didn't I film she it? She was like, she was like probably some mentally disturbed homeless person or something. Cause, God, uh, it was my dad. Literally, it was just. Oh man. Like, my friend said he, he was so close to vomiting, it was, like, he, he literally went into the bathroom to, oh, but nothing actually came out. He kind of oh, wished it did, though, because, yeah. Good God. They couldn't finish I their mean, hamburgers after that, because... Take into consideration, <laughs> like, what they actually eat. Like, they're eating, like, old vegetables out of dumpsters and stuff like that. They probably just... They probably can't even take solid shits anymore. God. I bet, I bet so this is the like, This is the it, real like, homeless problem. And then sent it to the Two Girls One Cup company. That that one company. I, yeah. I knew this guy. His um his family were all from the Ukraine, but like he lived in Canada, and he used to go back to the Ukraine to visit them. And um, he went like this is years ago, and I, like I don't know if things have improved or whatever, or if it was just like the place that he. Went. But apparently, it was like really popular to like eat all of your meals at McDonald's. So like him and his brother like decided they were gonna go into the city and like buy some CDs or whatever but like they needed to get some breakfast and like they didn't even have at the McDonald's they didn't even have the breakfast menu like literally they just ate cheeseburgers and stuff for breakfast so he's he's on the bus and he was just feeling like a bit sort of like queasy and stuff and um you know he could tell that like he was going to get like a bit of diarrhea cuz his, his like stomach was like churning and everything but he you know they were like in the middle of the city and it took forever to get home sort of thing so he was just like oh, I'll just try to hold it in or whatever so um so they get to the CD store and like and then he sort of like crouched down to like look at the CD and then like this like this fart just snuck out and like he shit in his pants <laughs> like like a lot as well he said like he just could not stop it like it just just like came flowing out so he just like free flowed like into his pants and like they were super far away from home so he just like he decided that it didn't smell really bad so he thought oh well you know I'll just like walk around or whatever it's and, like, fine so he walked smell. around for like part of the day and he got home and there was just like all this dried up shit like caked to his ass oh, oh man and and ever since then I've like sworn I'll never go to the Ukraine cause like that story's just <laughs> me off. good Christ not gonna lie man. that's horrible yes 
I couldn't we just have found like oh, I don't even know somewhere to go and fix it, quote unquote. I mean, I don't know, just like sorry, how are you fix shit in your go hand in, on heart though? Go well, clean hand it, that shit up, go shit into the shop. No, me either. Like the worst. Okay, I mean, the the worst thing would be like if you you think it's a shit and then it turns out oh, it's a fart and then it turns out it's a, it's a, like a you tiny shit it. and it's like oh, the but too. you'd never really follow through with it because you know fuck that shit. You just I've never I've never sure, oh, in my God. pants either. Like I've got really good control down there. Like um, this guy that we used to that's good. That's good. We used to hang out with like after thirty go, plus years. I mean, that's good at something you've learned. I know. This this guy we used to go out drinking with, like, he just, like, had no control. Like, if he got super drunk, he'd be shitting his pants and, like, peeing in his pants and everything. It was like, oh, this is a nightmare. I can't, yeah, I can't imagine that would be, like, a good person to hang out with when you're getting drunk. Because, oh, Joey shit his pants again. Well, there we you went go. We to New Year's Eve. I went to, uh, my friend's house, and there's this guy there that, he's... A friend of a friend sort of thing, he turned up and, you know, he was fucked off his face. In the night, he pissed on the floor. In the lounge, where he was sleeping, just peed. All over the floor. Some people just can't handle their fucking alcohol. That's the problem. Yeah. I feel really weird. This guy, I'm though... I'm gonna go take a shit. <laughs> okay. Joking. This guy used to, um... I'm joking. This guy used to, like, pee in his okay. pants and stuff. And one time we had to, like... We had to actually phone his mum to like get him, get her to come and pick him up. And uh, God, he was just like he he was like he would just like rage really hard like when he got drunk and also like like piss himself. And um, so like his mum comes to pick him up and he was like <laughs> he was like just like yelling at her and like trying to spit on her. And we had to like sit in the back with him and like hold him down. And his pants were like soaked in like pee and everything. And his mum was like super worried. <laughs> Yeah, it was unbelievable. It was it was unbelievable. Exciting times. Oh, yeah. Man. See, that's like you know but we're going like, to like big big I quote unquote parties. Like a... I, I just want to be with people I know. Because if you ever run into someone that is that a horrible horrible drunk, the entire evening is just kind of ruined. It's like oh, this some fucker. Is it was like I, I, well, that, yeah. well, that said, oh, like I, I went to a, like, this party with a friend of mine, and he was like, he was on sick, and he was on on medicine, and like instantly, it's like, dude, I don't think it's a good idea. No, I'll be fine. I've done this before. Okay, fair enough. So like we were just sitting um, in the living room, and they're listening to music and stuff, and you know, same old standard party stuff. And he was just kind of like leaning over, and he was like, oh god, I don't feel so good. And it's like, ah, uh, you wanna go home? No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine soon. All of a sudden, he's just... And he starts vomiting just all over the carpet. It's like, it's in one just go, like, an entire meal of spaghetti bolognese oh. just get... On the fucking oh, carpet. Geez, yeah. It's like, the, you um, could the see pasta goes like the whole gray, pasta like, spaghetti, fuck's sake. It was not good. It was not good. The girl who had the party, she was not happy either. Well, that's understandable. At BlizzCon, uh, somebody got, like, pissed, puked drunk, and completely puked all over a carpet in the hotel I was staying uh, in the room I was staying at, because it was, like, a loft, and there was quite a few people there. But, uh, yeah, everyone, uh, like, cleaned it up, and it, it wasn't a huge thing, but, it, like, it was fucking gross. And it smelled all night. Uh, uh, there's nothing worse. That made when you were going to school, like, when you were in, like, primary school and stuff, did you guys have portables at your school? Yeah, I hated or is that like thing. just an Ottawa thing? Yeah, that was always the worst thing. There was always some some chucklehead who would always end up throwing up in in the portable, and like you could just not get the smell out. Like no matter what, they'd put like that powder stuff down on top of it to try to like mask the smell. But like this guy, like at the start of like school, threw up in in a portable, and like seriously, the smell just stayed there like the whole year. It was it was awful. Like every time I went to a class, I just had had this like massive headache. It just smelled so bad. Like the teacher would walk into the into the portable and then instantly open all the windows. It's like minus forty outside. Like every window <laughs> is open because it just smelled so bad. Benefits of a Canadian schooling, right there. Oh man. 
It was it was bad. At one point we I had be like, so pissed off on that like, I don't know what kid. they were doing, but we had like thirty portables. It was crazy. Like I think our school was like being refurbished or something, but like nobody seemed to have any classes inside the actual school. They were all like outside in these portables. God, I was like uh <laughs> it's like like a concentration camp or something. It's crazy. Oh, freaky stuff.